So I'm going to begin by, if you don't mind, go at me. I'll begin by just praising God here. God, we just want to thank you that you're such a great and loving God. God, you have been so good to us. You, you, you have seen us from uh, the moment of our birth, Lord, until this particular moment in time, and you have blessed us enormously. God, you, you could have put us on any place on the earth, and you chose to put us here in America. Thank in you, Texas, Father. God, thank how good did that get? Thank you, Father. Father thank you for thank that. You, thank you, God, that you have uh, given us a, a country that's full of freedom, Hallelujah. a country that has an educational system that thank we you, can Father. subscribe to. God, you, you just blessed us so abundantly thank with you, everything that, that we have. We, we have uh, good food. We have good health. We have you, everything that... Um, just comes from your hand and we recognize all of this is traced back to what Jesus did on the cross that's made all of this available to us because if it had not been for Jesus Hallelujah. God, it's no telling what any of us would be like today yes, Lord. but because of his sacrifice we have all that we have and we want to thank you and praise you God we want to have our lives arranged in such a way that we yearn for you yes. that, we, that we crave you God that you are you are the zeal of our lives, God, is, just, is directed toward you, that that we hold you dear in every way in our lives. And God, we just ask you to give us hearts like that, hearts that just uh, desire you above everything else, Father, Thank that you become the first necessity of our lives, Thank Lord. We want to always praise you and give you glory for what you've done, how great and how good you are. God, we, we rejoice in you, rejoice in the fact that you have given of us, given to us your Holy Spirit, Thank that your Holy Spirit is in us, changing us and altering us in ways to where we look more and more like Jesus. God, we, we recognize the distance we have to go, but God, we are thankful to you Praise for those God. changes that we see in our lives, God, through the years, how you have changed us and altered us given us attitudes like Jesus, God. Thank you, Father. That is so good, Thank Father. you, Father. At, where would we be without your guidance <coughs> in our lives? Where would we be about without the guidance of your Holy Spirit? So, God, we want to thank you and praise thank you as we enter into prayer together. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. God, we thank you. Thank you that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you that you watch over your word and perform it, and you promise where two or more gather in your name. There you are in that place. Father God, when we do, we gather here in your name. In your authority, in submission to your authority, we ask that you bring our, our hearts and our minds into alignment with, with your heart and your thoughts. We ask, Father, that we would be, we would be sensitive to, to your leading, Holy Spirit, that we would, we would pray your heart into the situations that we pray over today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we want to say Carol McCarthy before you. Yes. Thank her and her family, Lord God, is, her mother has been unresponsive this week. Father, we ask that you would be with them. Lord, that Carol would be a strong witness for you, Father, for her family. Lord, let her actions be, be full of faith, Father, Amen. and full of love. Amen. And let her faith Thank show through to those to, of her family, Lord God, Thank who are gathered around her mother. Thank you, God. And Father, we just we thank you for her and the witness that she is, Father. And, and we just ask that you keep her safe That's right. and bring Thank her back you, to us. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Father God, I just pray for the friend that Wade should use to say to in your word, Father, that there's evidence to support you as Lord. I just pray that you would strengthen them. Thank you, God. I pray for Matt's dad, um, Mike Sanchez. He's in the hospital in intensive care, Lord, with a stroke. Lord, I ask that you, you would not let him leave this world without knowing you. Yes, Lord. I always pray that you yes, would strengthen him. Thank you, Father. And if you do put him on the Lord, Pray that you bring forth healing. I pray for Felicia.
Somebody should stand up and we'll get pen and surgery that may be able to pray that you be the hands of the doctors and the nurses who will give them knowledge and wisdom. And when I pray that you will strengthen them as a couple, how they will be able to pray. Um, we'll spread your love for them and give them peace. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. 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 partner with you in reaching the people of our area. Father God, I thank you for, for the leadership of Thrive that thank you have you, entrusted with this vision. God, I thank you for the, the tremendous growth we've seen in this ministry uh, thank you, Lord. over the last several weeks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank and I thank you for every every new person who thank you, Father. has been in uh, over the past month who's never been there before and had the opportunity to, to experience a, a ministry like none other around here. Uh, God, I pray that, uh, that the peace that they felt there and the joy that they felt there would, would continue to, to draw them back, and not just so that our ministry is growing, but so that people are being continually brought into your presence. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I praise you and magnify your great name. Lord God, I exalt your name above the heavens and the earth this evening, God. Lord, I exalt your name in my heart and in my mind. I exalt you, Father God, because you deserve all glory and honor and praise. And Lord, I just magnify your name today, Lord God. And I thank you for this ministry, Father God, that you have blessed us abundantly with, God. Father, I thank you for your faithfulness towards us, Lord Jesus. And I just ask, Father God, that there would be a direct contact with each and every one of us this day, God, as we are here today, right now, God, to lift up your name, God, and to pray what you would have us to do according to our ministry that you have placed within us, Lord. And so, Father God, I just ask, Holy Spirit, that you would just come right now and rest amongst us, Lord. Father, we don't want to go another step further without your presence, Lord God. And so, Lord, you are welcome here. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Come, come fill our hearts afresh and anew. Touch us right now, Lord God, in such a manner, Lord God, that we would be in awe of who you are, Lord. We magnify your name today, Lord God. We come into your presence, God. We come boldly before the throne of grace, Lord, that we would be able to enter into your presence even now, Lord God. And God, as we agree together for Thrive, God, as we agree together for the lives of your people, Lord God, we will know, Father God, that we are in right standing with you. And so, Father God, I pray right now, if there is anything, God, any walls of separation that will separate us from you right now, God, we ask that those walls would be utterly destroyed in the name of yeah, Jesus. Right. And we come to you, Lord God, asking, Lord, that you would create in us clean hearts, renew in us right spirits, Father God, that we would pray according to your will and your word, God. That's what's effective, Lord God. So right now, Lord God, renew our minds to the mind of Christ Jesus, create in us clean hearts, Lord God. And so, Father God, as we do this, God, even inwardly now, God, we are the righteousness of Christ Jesus. So we have a right to come before you, Father. We have a right to stand in the gap and intercede for Thrive, God, to intercede for the laws, to intercede for our families, God, to intercede for our church family as well as our personal families. So we lift each and every one of them up to you right now, Lord, and we ask, Father God, that you would begin to do a new thing in our lives, God, in this ministry, Father. And so, God, I pray for our Pastor Paul even now, Lord God, glory, glory, glory. Glory to your name, Lord God, for such a godly man that you have placed within us, God, that you have blessed us with, Father God. Such a godly wife, Lord God, that we look upon them, God, and we do see your favor upon them, God. We look at them, God, and when we see that they are blessed, God, living their lives to fulfill your purpose for them, Lord God. And so I pray for strength like no other time in their lives, God. Renew them, refresh them, build their bodies up, God, where they may be broken down in any manner. Heal, God, and we 
thank you for them, Lord God. And we thank you for the wisdom that you have placed within them, Lord God. And we thank you, God, for continued dreams, God, continued plans, God. We thank you, Father God, that they will not shrink back in this ministry, God, that we are able to help hold up their arms, God, that we're able to go with the, the vision that you have cast before us, Lord God, that we run with them, God, not against them, not before them, God, because you have ordained them as our leaders, Lord. And so we thank you, we bless you, and we praise your holy name for them. And so, God, I just worship you right now. I thank you for the worship team, God. I thank you for Fun Place and the toddlers. Oh, glory. God, you have been so, so faithful to us, God. And I thank you for every child that enters into those rooms, Lord God, that they would be blessed by your presence first and foremost, God. And secondly, God, they will be blessed by people who love them, Lord. And so I thank you for each and every home that is represented through the Fun Place and the toddlers, God. And I pray a blessing upon them, Lord. And I thank you, Lord God, that you would pour into their lives, God, in ways, God, unlike any other time, God, that this is a new season. I just keep hearing it, God, a new season. And so I thank you for it, Lord God. I thank you for the level that you're rising us up to as a family, Lord. And we give you glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Father. I worship you. I worship you. You're so good, God. Dear God, I'd like Thank to you, lift up the life group leaders. Amen. Thank the you, Father. The future life group leaders. Thank and you, that Father. All the stuff that they do behind the scenes, Lord, that you, you will Lord. be with them. Thank and you, Give them Father. the peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Lord. Prep for um, the new members for each life group. Lord. Thank you, Father. I pray that you would direct the steps of our paths as we choose which life group. Yes, Lord. To join, Lord, you, Lord, and we thank you for that opportunity and that and that time to grow in in our walk with you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God, I agree with with Mary, Lord, and in that that you would already be purposing in the hearts of everyone, God, to be connected to a life group, Lord God, and I thank you, God, that you're already ordering the steps, God. Your word says the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. And so, God, I pray that you're ordering our steps, Lord God. I pray for the host homes, God. I do pray for those of us that are leading, God. And I just ask, Father God, that um, for those of us who are leading the groups, Father God, that you would give us um, an anointing from on high, God, the anointing right. to gather and to, to draw people, God. And I pray, Father God, that as you anoint us, Lord God, that there would be a pouring out of your spirit upon us, Lord God. Even if there are fun groups, God, your anointing would still pour out That's in these right. groups, Lord God. Well, those that are studying, Father, those groups that are studying, those special groups, God, I just pray, God, for a fresh anointing, Lord, that it would be uh, a, a census across the board, God, of how great the family the dynamic is, God, how dynamic it is for the gathering of the people together, Lord God. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray over the life groups that um, as people uh, begin to join, begin to, to, to show up and to share life together, that um, that everyone would just be real with each other. Amen. Amen. That, uh, there would not be any walls uh, that thank are built you, up, God. Uh, because we have all fallen short of your glory. Yes, Lord. Uh, so there, there's nothing that we can't say to each other that we could be surprised about, God. Um, you have brought us to situations that uh, some of us don't even know about. God. Right, but, right. Um, but by sharing our story, by sharing our testimony, by sharing our failures, God, we lift each other up. We, we glorify you in, in what you have done in our lives, God. And I just pray in each and every group, God, that, that people just get down and get real with each other. Um, that we are all in this together. We are all uh, running toward you, trying to get closer to you, trying to, to see more of you, to see more of your glory, God. And I just pray in each one of these groups, God, um, no matter what kind of group it is, God, that every single person would draw closer to you uh, just by being closer to the family of God, Lord, that you would, um, you would just be glorified in everything that is happening, Lord. How we just praise you that, that you can reach people in any situation, uh, it really doesn't matter uh, the type of group uh, that has started, Lord. You can reach every single person. So God, I just pray this, um, as these people join, that they would feel your Holy Spirit, 
that they would uh, they would know that they're in a safe place. Yes. Um, yes. That uh, all the all the leaders and everyone else that is involved in each one of the group would um, would see everybody the way that you see us. Amen. Lord. Amen. Um, and that we would just minister to each other in just a mighty way. Thank you, God, for what you're going to do. We look Amen. forward to just amazing uh, reports, Amen. To, to praises over lives that are being changed Thank you, Jesus. Uh, through your power, through your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, I want to lift up a single parent to you. Amen. Father, I'm asking you in Jesus' name for a spirit of grace Amen. just to be poured out on every single single in this church, Lord God, mm-hmm. every single that's related to us, thank you, Lord God, in any way, I thank you, Father God, mm-hmm. that you would just reach them with the spirit of grace, Lord, I thank mm-hmm. you, God, that you cover them with the blood of Jesus, mm-hmm. I thank you, God, that you drop out any spirit of guilt, mm-hmm. in Jesus' name you go from among the people of God, I thank you, Lord God, that you bring strength. Lord God, in those weak places, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that you would bring unity in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In the body of Christ, that you would bring unity in the families, Lord thank God, you. of the single parent, Lord. I thank you, Father, that that we would look to you as our source. Thank you, Lord God, if we are looking to man or we are looking for something that's comforting beside you, Father God, I ask that our hearts would change. God, I ask that you would minister through the Holy Spirit to them, Father God, this very thing, God, that you are the comforter, that you are the one that can supply the need Amen. that we have. And I thank you, God, that you do this quickly. Lord, I thank you that you just surround us, Lord God, with with peace, Lord, that you surround us with godly people. God, I ask that you just, that, that you would call in your saints to surround the single parent, God, in Jesus' name. I thank you that you touch their children, Lord God, wherever yes, they are, if they're thank close you, to you, if they're far from you. Thank you. Lord God, I ask that you would speak life over them, that the mouths of the people around them would speak life Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. And if they're Amen. not, I thank you, God, that you would shut the mouth of the lion. Yes, we in command, Jesus. in Jesus' in name, the, name the Jesus. enemy to be silent yes. from the single parent homes. Thank in Jesus' name, thank we you. thank you, Lord, that, that words of life be spoken. Amen. Over them. Amen. Thank you, God, Amen. for affirmations. Thank Amen. you, God, for wisdom. Amen. Just to be poured over, Lord God, their lives. Thank in Jesus' name. Thank, thank you for God. hearing this prayer, God. Thank, thank you for thank being you. so faithful and you so graceful <laughs> to us, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. I would pray for every church and every pastor in Amen. this region, Lord. Thank you, God. We thank you, God, that <clears throat> people are being influenced by churches of this area, by the pastors of this area, by your word. <clears throat> your word being preached and taught throughout this region, God. And Father, we pray that by the efforts of every pastor, every church in this area, that the Holy Spirit water level would just rise here. Thank you, God. That the Holy Spirit would have a greater role in every church. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Those who those who do not recognize the Spirit's role in their lives, God, I pray that they would be taught that. God, I just pray that that there would be a a greater understanding of you and your purposes and your plan for man through your Holy Spirit. And God, uh, as the churches uh, advance, I pray, Father, that this whole region would more and more be turned over to the godliness of those people who are part of those churches, that their influence would be great that they would, that they, as they go about their daily activities, that they would go about with excellence because you are excellent. Amen. Amen. That they would recognize that they are working as unto you, God, even though someone else is writing a paycheck for them. God, I pray that um, we would be 
Christian people throughout this region, Father, would be a people of gratitude that we would not take for granted all of the blessings and the favors that you have given to us, God. Father, we have eyesight, we have hearing, we have the ability of speech, Lord. We take those things for granted, God, and, and yet they are gifts from you that not all people have. And so, God, we just thank you that you have blessed us so graciously, and we ask you, God, to use us in your service throughout this region. That our mouths and our ears and our eyes and the, the focus of who we are, God, would serve you in such a way that Jesus is glorified and honored. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray as we look beyond our own region that we look to the nation and as a whole and yes. God, that you, you bring us to the urgency, uh, yes. the true urgency of it and to yes. repent and return to you, uh, to stand up against the things that are not of you, to make a difference against those, against those forces that um, just are not, not for you, God. As we have looked at just on a small scale to people's lives in other countries where there's persecution and there's there's danger and uh, threats to life, threats to buildings, threats to churches. God, we see what that does on a personal level through the eyes of people that we love. Thank you, Lord. And we ask that you will let those people, those stories be a witness to the people in the United States. In fact, it so quickly happened here that it would be an awakening for us, God, yeah. that you would bring us to repentance, yeah. God, that we would unite right. church, all the churches would unite that are that are of the yeah. true one God, God, that we wouldn't let those barriers separate us, that we, we would be a unity church, yes. um, unified in the Holy Spirit, Amen. and in, in one cause to, to lift up your name. So God, I do pray for our borders, I pray for yeah. Our government officials, God, that you just direct their their minds as they decide upon laws for the land, that they would be inspired by you. Yes, Lord. God, that they would they would look to the Bible as for their um, their center, God. Yeah. Say, if it lines up with the word, then yes, we can pass this law. If it Thank doesn't, Jesus. then don't pass it. Amen. Amen. God, we pray for our military people that are protecting us, Thank our, you, our law enforcement, our first responders. Yes, Lord. God, we pray that you would um, bless them for their service. Thank you, Lord. God, let them know you in their service, God. Yes, we want our yes. military, yes. our police, yes. our yes. firemen, yes. all yes. of those people to know you personally, God. Yes. We want them to be blessed and favored, yes. and that yes. only comes through you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for that. We thank you for the freedom that we have to, Amen. to gather in the circle of Amen. praise Amen. where other people in other nations just don't have this without without fear. They don't have it. So we thank you for that. Things that we ask that it continue. Amen. That the United States and countries like us who are believe in God would, would uh, be the beacon that other countries look to and ask, why do they have their favor? And that it would be shown to them that it was because of belief in you and our founding fathers Amen. that established us. Amen. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority yes. so that we can live peaceful and quiet yes. lives yes. marked by godliness and dignity. Yes. Father God, we do come to you right now and we lift up national leaders, Father God, yes, God. Our, our president and vice president in their, their cabinet, Father God, our, our senators and congressmen, God, we thank you for, for men and women elected by the people of this nation to represent us. God, I thank you for men and women who have, have risen up and accepted that, that position with excellence and, and integrity, Father God. And I pray for all of those who are there not with a spirit of excellence and integrity, Father God. I pray that their true motives would be revealed, that they would have changing 
part of Father God that they would have wanted to let you to represent the people that they've been elected to represent. Father God, I pray from the top of our nation down to down to the the most inconsequential seeming person to have an encounter with you. Thank you, Father. Have you said blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord? Hallelujah. I pray that in God we Thank trust would not just be the slogan on our currency, right, but it right. would be the deciding yeah. factor yes, in Lord. every major decision this country makes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. God, I do thank, thank you. you for a country we can meet openly to seek your face together. Father God, I pray that this would be a nation of God just allows that but encourages that. Father God, I want to ask you that you would even set it in the government that they would promote family. Lord God, that you would just do a thing in the government, Lord, where family is just so important. Lord God, I thank you that you give reporters ideas about the family, Lord God, and that be godly examples, that be examples of love and grace. Amen. Lord God, I thank you in Jesus' name that you would hear this prayer, Lord, and that you or your Holy Spirit would speak to our government officials. Lord God, about promoting family. Lord God, in Jesus' name, thank you, God, for doing that. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God, I praise you for gay marriage. I'm I'm so grateful for two becoming one. I'm so grateful that your word says that two are stronger than together than one. And I know so many marriages that are struggling. And even in church, they put it in our society, and so many problems are coming from bad, broken marriages. And our children are affected by the relationship between husband and wife. So I'm asking for your outpouring, your blessing, your wisdom, your understanding and patience, and your forgiveness and acceptance of each other. Amen. We're living in the society when we are so harsh towards each other, we have high expectations, we want everything right away yeah. and that's not your plan that's yeah. not the way you work so we are asking you please open up our eyes yeah. uh, those of us who have spouses uh, help us uh, support each other have mm-hmm. each other's back go back to what you want for our marriages how you want them to be structured how you want the wives to behave how you want the husbands to be yeah. uh, you put a lot of authority and you put a lot of pressure and responsibility on our husbands and I know sometimes men they're struggling and they they have a hard time admitting it so I'm asking you for abundant blessing for our family, yeah. our Amen. leaders, Amen. they yeah. our um, um, those shoulders we women can cry on, we can rely, we can support. So I'm asking you please bless our husbands, lead them to your truth, open their eyes to see you, draw them closer to you, make them strong, make them wonderful in you, make, make them all what you created them to be, and Amen. I'm also asking for your blessing for our children, many children have already started school, and I know our society has changed so much, and we don't pray openly at school anymore, which is completely bad, and I'm asking you if <coughs> possible, please bring it back to our yes. schools, yes. Amen. so the children would know the prayer even more than they know their um, anthem, right. and you know, yeah. all other things, because yeah. it's really important, and I'm asking for your abundant protection for our yeah. children. This, yeah. this world has become so corrupted, and I hear so strange ideas, even from little children, about, yeah. uh, you know, um, I heard one girl in kindergarten saying that when she grows up, she would like to fall in love with a woman, and uh, mm-hmm. it means this this mm-hmm. girl, she heard it somewhere, this yeah. society just yeah. mi- misses out this, our children's brains and their ideas for life and I'm asking for your abundant blessing and protection for yeah. Yeah. those yeah. little ones as yeah. they're God. going through different stages help yes. them see the truth help yeah. us as parents teach them wisely, teach them the right things protect them as much as we uh, can in the circumstances and I know yeah. you keep reminding me as much as I want the best for my children you are their parents Amen. first and I'm the second. So I'm asking you to please, for our children, are they in their steps? If they have to go a certain path, let them go and help us let them go. If they need to meet certain people, even if you feel like 
I would, you know, wrap my arms around my child and never let him go that way. But you want him to go and you want him to have certain experience. Please help me let him go. And I'm asking the same for every parent because our children, they need to go through the path you created for them. They're destined for wonderful things. And you want them to be fully prepared, fully equipped for what they're going to be in life. So I'm asking for school teachers right now, I'm asking for Father. principals, I'm asking for thank you, Lord. public school system, I'm yes, asking Lord. for private school thank system, you, Lord. Thank I'm you, asking Lord. you to guide every child to yes, where Lord. he or she should be at this stage yes, of life, give yes, them in the right yes, class, God. give them the right teachers, yes, give yes, them yes, the right God. classmates, yes, God. so yes. they can be blessed Praise and they God. can also bless Amen. others Amen. around them yes, and Lord. influence and change this society and give the next generation that shine. Uh, your light will shine through them. Your light will change the society through our children. And uh, they will be an amazing blessing for everybody they meet. I'm so grateful to you, God, for... Um, uh, I just want to um, ask for the pastor of him. I know we, some people have prayed already, but I know what a burden they carry when they serve people. And I know um, sometimes we who just come to church, we don't realize uh, how heavy this burden can be and how lonely they sometimes can be. Um, I didn't realize it until I became a parent, how lonely parents can be when they carry the burden, when they have to discipline their children and their children don't understand why they discipline and you still have to persevere and you have to still stay the course. And I know pastors, they often face the same challenge when they have to leave the church, when they have to make tough decisions, when they have to um, correct people and bring them back to God with love and patience and kindness. So I'm asking for yeah. your very special blessing, Amen. your very special wisdom yes, to God. have that patience yes, that Lord. only comes from you, to have that Thank love that Lord. only comes from you. Thank love you. for the lost, love for those who need correction, love for those who, uh, who really need support and yes, help. Lord. Uh, help uh, give them endurance, give them physical strength to um, keep going, give them your love, because I know sometimes when we give, give, and give, we feel a little bit drained ourselves, right. so I'm asking for this special refreshment for them, Amen. I'm asking for this special blessing for peace, and um, just help everything fall into places, because they're human too, they have their own issues, they have their own problems and I'm asking you to take care of everything, every little issue in their life thank and just you, make everything fall in place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Now we just lift up the upcoming mission trip to you, God, and Miss Patty. <coughs> thank you, Father. Lord, we obviously don't know what lies ahead, God, but you do. Thank, thank you, God. You. And we trust you, God. Yes. Amen. We trust God that you will direct our steps, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And that if we if we say, Here we are, God, send us, God, you're gonna send us where you want. God, and we may not be able to know or understand why or know the reason or the details, God, but we we just come together right now and we know that you've given many of us in this especially in this thrive ministry and in this church a heart for missions. Thank and you, so we God. trust, Lord, that you have an assignment for us, God. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. And we're Amen. here, God. Amen. There are many of us that are yes. saying, send us, God. And yes. so we just come together right now, and we ask yes. for you to speak to Miss Patty specifically, God. Yes. All of us, but especially Miss Patty as our leader. Amen. And Pastor Amen. Paul, God, as our cover. God, that they Amen. would hear your words saying, this is the way. Amen. And then we would follow them, and we would walk in it. Amen. God, we thank you that whether it's Mexico, Nicaragua, or here or there or wherever, God, that we trust that you're going to speak to them, God, and they're going to have confirmation and peace, God, and the understanding that they need for the time, God, and that Miss Patty will be able to make the tough decisions, God, on what lies ahead for us. And so we just thank you, God, for speaking to her clearly, God, and that she will be able to hear you clearly. Paul will hear you clearly, and that all the plans that need to be made will be made, God. We trust you, Thank you. God, and we are here. Thank and I know you. that I speak for several of us that yes. say, send us, God. Yes. We want to go, God, yes. and so we're just awake.
Yeah. Yeah. Your instructions. Yeah. Yes. Hooray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Richard. God, we thank you for the message that we heard today, God. Yes. We thank you for the reminder, God. Yes. And we know that there is such a busyness that is in our society. Yes. We get so distracted and caught up with our daily lives, <coughs> work and career and and even the good things, family and and the good things. But God, I just ask that after this message today that you would stir in everybody's heart, yes, Holy Lord. Spirit, yes, that we would be reminded, God, that that is not the goal each week, to just get up and go to work and come home and make sure the kids are fed and check off our to-do list, God, me included, God. Remind us, Lord, that there is so much more, God, that you have for us to do, Lord. Yes, we have to do those things, and we do them with joy and with excellence, God. And um, we know that you bless us, you know, when we commit those things to you, God. But there's so much more, God, so much more that you want us to do. And so I just pray, God, that every person is just reminded, God, as we get up in the morning each day and as we start our week, God, that we just stop and we spend time with you and we ask, what is our assignment this week? outside of work and family and our responsibilities. Who do you want us to connect with? Yes, yes. Who do you want us this week to build that bridge with? Yes, Who do you yes. want us to reach out to? And God, I just pray that the busyness, God, would not distract us. We just rebuke that spirit of busyness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we command it to go from our lives, from our households. Yes, Lord. God, that we will do things with excellence and work unto you and serve our families unto you, God, but that we will be focused. Yes. God, and that we will be committed to spend time with you to get our assignments above and beyond yes. the normal daily assignments, yes. God, our spiritual assignments, yes. so that we can be focused, that even while we're working, even while we're serving our families, we can be praying, we can be thinking about how we can reach somebody, yes. we can be thinking about how we can go above and beyond um, to serve our extended family that may not know yes. you, our neighbors, God, yes. how we can just reach people to you, God, and just not be focused on on our daily lives, but be focused on you, God, and on truly the calling that you have for us to be ministers of reconciliation. Amen. And so we just thank you for the message today and the reminder that it yes, is, Lord. God, that our, our true calling is to reconcile and build bridges with people, God, yes, whether that's in our household, in our daily lives, or extended out, God, beyond our, our homes, God. And so thank you, God, for the reminder, and continue, God, stir in our hearts, God, especially this week, and that we would just make it God, patterns in our lives, a habit, a pattern, God, to ask you what our assignment is each week and each day. Your word says if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and serve from their wickedness and come to God. That you would just come every time. Yes. You would heal our land. Yes. Lord God, we pray right now. If there's been anything in us, God, that we have not done according to your will or according to your word, God, we just give unto you this morning, Lord God. And we ask for your forgiveness, Father God, and we ask, Lord Jesus, that you would heal our land, Lord. Yes. And we thank 
Thank you, Father God, for those that are not saved, God, those who, who have walked away from you, God. God, we stand in the gap for them today, Lord God, and we make intercession for their lives, Lord. We thank you, God, that today would be the day of someone's salvation, Lord yes. God. We ask, Father yes, God, that you would pull them out of the darkness oh, and into yeah. your marvelous light, God. I pray, God, that there would be someone in this room, God, that somebody in their families today, yes. God, that we would hear the report yes, that someone yes. has decided to give their yes. life to you, Lord God. We pray, Father God, for your Holy Spirit to go and captivate them in the name of Jesus, that you, God, would be the voice that they hear above every other voice, God. We pray right now, God, for the lying voice of the enemy to cease in the name of Jesus. And we pray right now, Father God, that you would minister by your spirit. I ask, Lord God, that you would go and that you would touch, God, that you would heal, that you would deliver the, li the lives of our family and our friends, Father God. We ask for our family members today, Lord God, that there would no longer be walls built up, God. There would no longer be excuses, God. There would no longer be lies that they would hear, Lord God. But I pray, Father God, that they would hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, Lord. And God, you are saying, come, come. And I ask, God, that you would draw, God. They can't come unless you draw them. And so we pray right now, Lord God, that you would draw them, Lord. We ask for our brothers and our sisters, God. We ask for our parents, our cousins, our aunts and our uncles, God. We ask for our neighbors, Lord God. We ask for those that we know that have completely walked away from you. And God, forgive us for giving up on those who, who have went through this struggle for a long time, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that we would humble ourselves, Lord God. Because had it not been for you, there go I, Lord. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are changing their lives, Lord God. And we repent for speaking any idle words over their lives, God. We repent for speaking death in their lives, Lord God. We repent unto you right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we choose to speak life and life abundantly upon them, Lord. We thank you, God, for that person that's a drug addict right now, God, that they are loose and set free, Lord God. We pray for those who are walking in any other type of addictions, Lord God, that they would be delivered, that they would be set free, Father God. We pray for the shackles to be broken out of their lives in the name of Jesus. And we pray for hearts of flesh, Lord God. Give them hearts of flesh, Father that the seed of your word would be implanted in their hearts, God, that they would not sin against you. And so we praise you today, Lord God, that you are moving even now. You, they are not too far for you. They are not too far. And so we thank you, Lord God, that what we've given up on, Lord God, you call them beautiful, God. What we've given up on, God, and what we've turned our backs on, God, they're not too far from you, Lord. And so we praise you, Lord Jesus, for their lives, God. And I ask that you would save them to the uttermost. Hallelujah. And we thank you, God, for fruit that will remain for the kingdom of God. That they're not going to have just a moment with you, God. They're not just going to have a season with you. But they're going to be fruit that will remain for the kingdom of God. We claim them in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the children that are lost, that are connected to this family, Lord God. Bring them to the kingdom, to the all-knowing, saving grace of the Most High King. And we worship and adore you together, Lord God. We exalt Exalt your name above every name in, in their lives, God. Every lie in their lives, we exalt the name of Jesus. For every heartache in their lives, we exalt the name of Jesus. For every disappointment in their lives, God, we exalt the name of Jesus, God. And we, for every identity crisis, we exalt the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, that you said in your word, God, that if you would be high and lifted up, that you would draw all men unto your bosom. So we pray, Father, that you are drawing even now. Draw by your spirit, Lord. Most High King, and we praise you together for their lives, God. We rejoice even now, God, as we see them coming, Lord God. We rejoice, God, that you leave the 99, hallelujah, and you go after them, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are a good, good shepherd, Lord God, and you don't want to see any of your sheep astray, God. So we praise you that you are drawing them, Lord God. You are saving them, Lord God, and we rejoice together for our family and friends, Lord God. And we thank you, God, for changing to their lives forever. Thank we you. thank you, God, for what you did in our Jesus. lives. Praise you, God. Oh, glory to your name, Lord God. Thank you for where you brought us from, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for saving us, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. We bless you. We bless you, God. And we thank you, Lord. Yes, God.
for changing our lives, Lord God. And we do thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. We praise you and bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Father God, we come to you. We thank you that you are against the children's prayer. Father God, we thank you that by Jesus stripes we have been healed. Hallelujah. God, right now, lift up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up every person in this church, affiliated with this church, every person in our families. Father God, who is under any sort of who is not walking in full health right now. Yes, thank you, God. I thank you that you sent forth your word and healed Hallelujah. Thank, you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. We have right now right every right full manifestation of that. Hallelujah. I receive your healing. Thank you, God. God, we just speak to those that have Alzheimer's right now in the name of Jesus. The brain just to be healed. We speak in the name life. of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name, yes. everyone that's associated with the singles ministry or our families that have Alzheimer's, we bind you from that, their lives in Jesus' in name Jesus. any longer. Yes. And we speak life. We thank you, God, that, that the brain would just form. God, the places that are dead would come back to life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name, Lord, we thank you that they can think again, they can remember again, yes, Father God, that, God. that restoration would happen. Thank God, you, we thank you, Lord, that as Shireen, you, that her mother, yes. this is not a death sentence. We command death yes. off of her life yes. in, in Jesus' name. Jesus. name. And we thank you, Lord God, yes. that she would have life, Lord. We thank you, Father thank God, you, that, that the brain cells in her mind, yes, Lord, Lord God, would come back to life, Lord Hallelujah. God, that she will remember again, Lord God, Amen. and that Amen. Shireen and her husband, Lord God, yes, um, Lord. her mom's, her dad would speak Jesus. life. JJ yes. would speak life yes, over his wife in yes. Jesus' Thank name, and that they Thank would you, believe the report yes, of the, the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father God, for doing that, God. Thank, Thank you, you for doing it in my Thank grandmother. God. Thank God, in Margie Kane, as she sits over there in a nursing home in Henderson, Thank Lord God, I thank you Lord. that those brain cells were stored <laughs> in Jesus' Lord, name, that she Mr. starts Morgan. saying, where's Amanda? Where's she at? Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that she'll start remembering, Lord God, God, the good things that you've done for her, God, that she will remember you, you, Father God, and how good you are and how good you've been to her, Lord God. God. I thank you for Kelly, Kelly's father. Yes. yes, Lord God, I thank you that thank you would God. restore his mind. We yes, speak Lord. to his mind in Jesus' name thank you, Lord Jesus. to come back to life. We thank, thank you, God, for those dead places yes. to be brought yes. to life thank in you, Jesus' Lord. name. We thank you, Lord God, that thank he you, will remember her clearly, thank Lord, you, Lord God, Jesus. that he will remember yes. the things that you've done for him, Father God. Thank that, you, Lord. God, I thank you that nothing is impossible with you, Amen. and I find a spirit of doubt Amen. and a spirit of fear Amen. right now. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name, you have no more authority in their lives or in our lives. I thank you, Father God, that heaven on earth would touch them. Father God, I thank you that life would be spoken over them continually. Lord God, out of the mouth of those that work with them, God, in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for doing that, God. Thank you for hearing us, God. Thank you that you restore, God. You restore the broken heart. You restore the broken mind. You restore the broken foot, the broken hand. You restore the heart issues, you restore the bone issues, you restore the vessel issues, the heart, the vessels in Jesus' name just to come to life and be open and flow the way that they should. Lord God, I thank you that you just touch our friends and family, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We pray for everybody who has been diagnosed with cancer. Thank you, God. have that spoken over them, Lord. We speak a life over them right now. Yes. For every cell that has gotten messed up and duplicated as an abnormal cell, God, we speak restoration. That they would correct those cells, that you would correct the DNA of those cells, that the cells would reproduce normally, that they would not continue to grow tumors or abnormal cells. God, restore the health of the cells in these people's body, God, and we just pray for tumors and cancer cells to literally shrink and shrivel up and just dissipate. Yes, and yes, thank God. We know, God, that nothing is too hard for you, God. You spoke 
and you created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. 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 Everything, Thank you, Lord. Everything was born to us so you can speak. Thank you, cancer can dry up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray specifically for my dad. He'll see the oncologist tomorrow to find out. Yes, it is. And it's all in his abdomen, oh God. God. And I pray yes. that one day, look at that in our eyes. Hallelujah. He is yes. healthy. There will be no yes. cancer. Yes. He is healthy. Yes. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We thank you that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. We thank you that your word would be preached on the radio. Lord God, when they go to the store, whoever is affected, we thank you, God, that wherever they go, they're going to hear a little bit of life, a little bit of who you are and what you do. Lord God, we thank you that your word would just spread in Jesus' name all around them, Lord God, and that faith would come forth in Jesus' name. And thank you, God, that they be healed. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I pray for those children who have those issues of ADD and ADHD, Father God, that they will not have to be medicated, God, to where they're grumpy and where they walk around with no feelings or emotions, Father. We pray for the spirit of pharmaceutical to be broken out of their lives, Lord God. And we ask, Father God, that you would, as Amanda has prayed over the Alzheimer's, that you would do the same thing in their brains, God, that their brain cells would click the way they're supposed to, Lord God, and that they would not be labeled, Father God. I especially pray that for the children that are in school, Father, they will not be labeled, they will not be looked upon and frowned upon, Lord God, but that you would put compassionate people in their path, God, that you would put people who are understanding to work with them. Lord God, and to walk through it with them, Father God, that they will not be ostracized by teachers, they will not be ostracized by other students, Father God, but that your love would flow in and over their lives, God, in such a manner, God, that they would be covered. I plead the blood of Jesus over their lives right now, Lord God, and I pray for those kids who feel like they're all alone, Lord God, like they have nobody, like they're by themselves, Father God. I pray for that spirit as well to be broken out of their lives, Lord God, and I pray for your love to abound in every school system this year, Lord God, that this will be the best year that the students have ever had, God. I especially pray that over my son in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that, that he would have the best year that he's ever had in his life, Lord God. I pray for teachers to pour into his life and, and, and matters, God, unlike any other time. And I pray that he would be a good student, Lord God, that he would be a young man of valor, Lord God, that he would be interested, God, that he will have a desire to learn. And I thank you for the other students, Lord God, that they would have a desire to learn that yes. there would be a great teacher student uh, relationship as well as a great student teacher relationship yes. God I plead the blood of Jesus over every kid that is represented through our thrive family Lord God I ask for the blood to cover them Lord God the blood of Jesus will cover them every day Lord God when they're on the buses when they're in cars God when they're in the classrooms Lord God we thank you that there, there will be no evil that will come near them Lord God anywhere near the school system Lord God anywhere near the, the driving when they're going to and from uh, school, Father God. We just ask for your protection. I ask for your traveling mercies every morning, every afternoon when they're in, in their activities. And I just thank you, Lord God, that that you cover them in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that our children, God, our students will excel, God, that they will be the head of their classes, God. They will have, they will be the epitome of a great student, Lord God. And I thank you for that, Lord God. Even those that have not been previously, God, we thank you that this will be a good year, God. Your new mercies are covering them, and we just bless you for them. And I thank you for it, God. I thank you, God, that they're able to think right, think straight, and seek the answers, Lord God. We thank you, God, that they will excel in every area in every class, Father God, that the other students will look at our kids, Father God, and say, wow, what's different about them? We pray they never forget who they are in you, God. And we have trained them up in the way that they should go, God, and they will not change when they get in their schools, Father God. We thank you for that, Lord. We praise you for each one of them, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you that they are equipped with everything that they need, God. Everything they need, they're already equipped, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Father. Father God, we lift up the children right now who are growing up yes. in homes where one parent serves you and one does not. Whether those parents are together or not together, 
upon a God where they see one role model living for you and one not. Father God, I pray for a spirit of discernment on those children. Yeah. God, you said train up the child the way they should go and there will be a heart from Father God, I pray that there will be a sensitivity towards the things of the Spirit, that they will gravitate towards the, the teaching, the principles, the discipline, the, the godly things. Thank you. And that the influence of darkness that is allowed into that child's life through through the ungodly parent will be minimized. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And God, we're going to stand in the gap for each child. Yes, Lord. And by depression. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes. we yes. command you all yes. of yes. our children. Yes. You have no more authority. We can yes. stand against you yes. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We lose the spirit of joy yes. and the spirit of love yes. in this place. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord God, that yes. if the parents are not yes. lining up, with what you want and what we're asking, Lord God, that you would change it, Lord God. If it means that the children need to go from among them, then they'll go. And if it means that they just get right with you, then they get right with you, Lord God. But we're asking you right now, God, that you would do something about this, God, that you would move heaven and earth for our children, God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I agree, Lord God. Bless them agree, and keep them. Agree, and let your face shine on them. Hallelujah. Lord God, strengthen them. Yes, Father God. And God, thank you for that discernment that they are already receiving now. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you that, that they would have a belief inside of them that denies the enemy. Amen. God, stir that up. Amen. A belief inside of them that denies the enemy. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Would you pray that same prayer for those in this room? Thank you, Lord God, that we would have on the inside of us Thank you, the spirit that denies the enemy. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. that the Holy Spirit will be so strong in us. As soon as we have a thought, we feel, it, we feel a jump in the gut or a jump in the heart because it's not from you. Thank you, God. We have that discernment. Thank you, God, that each person in this room, the Holy Spirit fills us the Holy Spirit yes. speak to us yes. and that we will agree with Father God and Amen. His word. Yeah. And Amen. we have spirits that deny the voice of the enemy. Y'all say that. Yeah. We yeah. have spirits that deny the voice of the enemy. Greater is he that is inside of me than he who is in this world. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> there were some pretty awesome ones though on Instagram. Were there? Yeah. Well, tell us about Iceland. The food is good, but it's very expensive. Oh. It's around like uh, twenty-eight dollars for a hamburger. Gee, oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to pay. It takes a lot to get counted all the way to Iceland. <laughs> 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 now, what about the people? What are people? What are the people like? Like us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. It's so generally polite. It's kind of hard to tell because you have so many tourists there. They all want to offer the Icelanders. Hmm. So walking along the streets, you hear mostly English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Here, you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Glad you fun. did. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you did. We missed you, but you're 
we're good, you're great. Yeah, don't mind.